Sunday. Just get the girls up. The young grass paddock's been chewed off really well. Still a bit of grass left in here, but that'll come away nicely. Morning, Dad. How are you this morning? Good, good. Good, that's all right. Playing the waiting game again. This side's all cup. Waiting on a couple of cows on this side. Morning. Yep. Last row on. This is going to all load up with kids. Okay, we're going to feed some calves. Dad's going to go shift the uh, dry cows over there. There is one that's calving, Tessa said. There you go. They're all here. We'll just chase them away and get Tessa through the gate and then leave it to her. Right, Tessa's off to go feed them. They're chasing you now, which is good. Chase her, they can follow her, and they won't come back to the shed. And I'll get a good feed. Yeah. Tess has already fed the other mob over there. They're standing over there with their meal bin and their uh, hay rack. There's a milk tanker. They'll pick us up today. Yeah. We are being picked up today, but uh, not by him. But look at it. Just as I said that, here comes another tanker. Yeah, it's just spreading their cause mag. As you can see, the white smoke everywhere. He's uh, throwing it around. My head. Yeah, little ducks are going for the water. Um, I might. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go get the stand though, okay? There, and there's a calving cow, and Uncle Cow trying to get the calf out. Yeah. And Uncle Cow. That's on a gonna put on this. Have to make it nice and slippery. Yeah, um, we have to make it nice and slippery. Yep, there you go. That makes it easier to hold for you, darling. Yep. You're going to have a coffee soon. Yep. Yes, she's going to have a coffee soon. Can I have a coffee soon? Yep. Right here. Here. Right here. Dallas, hop out of the way so Kenzie can have Kenzie a feel. Feel right here. Yep. 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 Yeah, here, you feel a little lumpy. That's a little calfy. That's a calfy and a mummy. Cool, but he's gonna come out in a minute. I wonder if it's a boy or a girl. I don't know if it's gonna be a boy or a girl. It must be so heavy. Is there a live car? So we don't know what's going to add in there too. The white one, A big calf. Yeah. Tess will love them in the calf pen. <laughs> I'll just go and get them. Is that a boy or a girl? Uh, it's it's a, a boy. Boy. My father. It's a boy. It's a, it's a it's a not a very white face <laughs> boy. <laughs> get a five mils of oxytocin. Makes her release your cleanings. You don't do it before the calf's born or else. But after birth comes out with a car, cow. Just into the muscle. I... Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, Kenzie, Dallas, you need to hop out of here. Clean up times, Mum says. Dallas, that's close enough, mate. Yeah. We're leaving the trailer in here today so that we don't have to go too far to get the trailer. We've got to get these calves, pick up those two tonight. And depending on how she is, she's got quite a full udder and a little calvy. Yeah, so she'll probably be picked up tonight as well. It's all good. All right, we'll go back and finish off cleaning up, eh, Tessa? Yep. How's the calvies feed this morning? Good, good. One mob to go out in the swamp. Yep. This is just washing up. Got... Just had a measure up of the hay barn down here. She'll fit. She'll fit there perfectly. She's about 3.9 to 4 meters tall. The roof up there is 4.2. So, a couple of holes in the shed, but that's all right. Another young grass paddock. We just uh, cut it in half. Perfect. Raise us off tonight. Let's go put her away. Doing good, doing good. Don't want to get it all muddy, don't want to go too fast. Or cut the corner too hard. Or we'll go too sharp. Beautiful. This is her home for the next four or five months. I'll bring her out and go chop some maize with her. Sweet. Yesterday, Dad went to go get the cows in from the, this paddock over here, and unfortunately, there was a dead cow there. 153, who actually, 153, poor girl, she got cast last year in the same spot. But I just so happened to be driving past and saved it. It's the same cow. I remember her from last year. Poor girl. Right, we'll bury her too. We're probably going to bury her more over here away from the trough. Probably about there. Nothing you don't like to see happen. And unfortunately, it happens on a farm. Good, we'll bury her now. And uh, she's away from any water sources, away from anywhere, waterways. So, and out of the way of the main track of the cows. There we are, she's buried. So, um, it's very strange for us because we don't usually have too many cast cows. Um, we usually get, what is it, one, two, probably only maximum of three cast cows a year. So it's very strange for us we've got two cast cows in a week. That's right. And that happens as the cow she uh, sits down and she may actually lie down to sunbathe and what happens is they get stuck on their side and because when they're on their side they can't actually burp or fart, gas builds up inside them and they die. That's just how it is. It's part of being on a farm. They poor girls. Cheaper to have a grease cartridge than actually replace the whole thing. So, <laughs> easy to do. Should do it once every eight hours. I did leave that one a bit. He's up. We'll head down the farm, eh? We're gonna go pick up three bales of hay. Yeah, three bales of hay. And we'll do this maize chopper. We've also got our rat bait station and our bags. So, we should, yeah. should be able to get up on there and reach it from there. We've got our little bait station. We'll just put it under here. Ain't no bird nesting in there now.
trailer. Is that anything you Awesome. Else? Another cow just calved. Oh, a bit of a patchy here for there, but that's alright. Still a nice black one. Washing the vat. The last of the rinse going through. Homeward bound. Griffiths. All keepers. We're not picking with the Herefords at the moment. Just come with the last row. So this is the maximum amount of rows we do. Uh, with the amount of cows we have. is 12 rows. So this one here is our 12th row. That's Probably gonna be it because only 13 cows left to calve. They don't fit in there easily. Well, up periscope. See where that is. There it is. Hello. <laughs> You're talking on the phone. Awesome. Girls are milking well. They're pretty full tonight. He's actually out there, he's washing the yard because there's a lot of stones out there uh, tonight. So getting them off the yard because that will hurt their feet and they can get stone bruises and stones in their feet and that just doesn't end well. They get infections from their feet and yeah, they end up limping and hobbling around. Little puppy dogs. There we go. Put them down to the Thank you. Yeah, these girls aren't looking very hungry. They're looking happy. This is the other young grass paddock. Uh, we don't have to worry about feeding the bale of hay, especially uh, usually because of the nitrates we usually feed a bale of hay but because this paddock's been grazed off three times already and it's quite long uh, we don't really have to worry about nitrates so what nitrates does to cows is they'll eat young grass and it'll build up inside them and eventually the build up will kill them nitrates will go through the body and does something internally to the body and they'll be dead by morning so um, yeah we usually do worry about it but this grass is a lot taller we had a beautiful day, and with a beautiful day, the uh, nitrates disappear in the grass and re is replaced by sugar, making very, very nice grass and great production grass. Happy little Cathy's. 